This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so Nicki Minaj lets out a uh, song she recorded while she was pregnant with Papa Bear on her IG. It was supposed to go on an album or something. I don't know. Sounds good. She should probably just, I don't know, just let it go before Pink Friday or something for her fans. Her fans are super loyal. You got to say that. Like, she built a... Uh, Strong fan base it says, oh, my God, this is not a drill. This is not a drill. Guess whose vocals just came in? Y'all are going to gag. It's probably like Wayne or Drake, maybe. I don't know. Soldier Boy goes at J. Cole. J. Cole was speaking on him during. Um, if you met, you know, Soldier Boy is like the boogeyman, right? If you're. If you're uh, a blogger or a rapper or something, you mentioned his name. If he feels like it, he's coming out like, hey, who said my name? When Soldier Boy came out, he ushered in a different kind of rap, right? And he, I'll play it in a second, but he complains about people weren't letting me in the game and that, no, you were let in the game because before you was Little John and a bunch of other stuff. So the game had already softened up for this kind of like soldier boy type of music to come in and you know without soldier boy you probably wouldn't have whipped your nay nay and all that other stuff that came later right but before uh was that before him or was that right around the same time hurricane chris and all that kind of stuff it was similar i think hurricane chris is right after soldier boy if i'm not mistaken soldier boy dropped in like 06 07 right right around that time and yeah it was like it was nothing to be taken seriously and people that didn't take him seriously then don't take him seriously now but i think people when he said turn my when he had the turn my swag on record that dropped what oh nine or so like more people got into that record because it was more i don't know it was more like it, it crossed more age gaps than you know the the dancing songs Soldier Boy had a lane. I don't care what he says, that people were locking him out of the industry. They weren't, okay? There was a lot of hate. So it was going to be a lot of hate, man. That means he made it. Anyways, you can also tell when Soldier Boy might might be doing something a little, a little spooky that changes his mood to being bipolar. Um, here's part one and two. Also, he thinks he's a gangster. Don't forget, he's a blood. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas old, nigga. Y'all niggas suck. I was like, nigga, nigga, crank that lit. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Don't nobody listen to y'all type of music no more. Fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? So it was a whole beef, like with old hip hop and new hip hop. So after a couple years passed, and I kept going platinum and I kept getting money, and they seen I wasn't no one hit wonder, I wasn't going away. They started embracing me, like, oh, we, you know what I'm saying? We fuck with Soldier Boy now, cause I guess they seen that I was gonna stay around. And then all the new artists started coming out too, getting deals after me, making new hip hop like how I was making. So everybody, it just became the normal. Like all the music we hear today, all the young niggas that's out today, all the new music, they get to rock out because nigga, I kicked the door down. I was the first nigga that got signed and brought the new music. Like, you know what I'm saying? Young music, shit that we hear today. So I've been dealing with this shit my whole fucking career. You feel me? Like I basically had to fight to get in the music industry. I had to fight to fucking just make music and just be a part of the industry. Niggas ain't want me in the industry because they like, we don't like the type of music he making. So I'm like, bro, what the fuck? So boom, I did all that, bro, my whole career. I they, they, you know what I'm saying? I, I got signed in 2007. I probably like 2010, 2011, they started accepting me. You know what I'm saying? Around my third album, they started like, embrace like, okay, he gonna be here to stay. You feel me? So, Fast forward today, I wake up. Why are we still talking about this narrative? Why are we still talking about my first single? Why are we still talking about how you felt? Who, who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, nigga, I don't, you ain't never seen me went on an interview talking about Big Sean music. You ain't never seen me going on an interview talking about J. Cole music. You could pull up an interview right now with Big Sean hating on me. Soldier Boy, I don't like that nigga hip hop. I rap like, I don't rap like him. J. Cole. Uh, I didn't understand it, so all these niggas like, bro, who is y'all? Who is y'all? Nigga, we don't like y'all music. Like, y'all niggas is clout, bro. Y'all niggas is...
He's not saying anything. Uh, he's just looking at looking at the screen. Eventually, he calls him Jay Coke, right? The next part of this, he goes off and says, "You don't want any of this gangster stuff." Jay Coke, you a cool nigga and all that, but man, stay in your lane, bro. You is not ready for this gangster shit, bro. You are not ready for this real big Draco energy, bro. You feel what I'm saying? All that lyrical, spiritual, miracle shit, that shit do not count in the in the real world, bro. You you got nice bars. I understand what you was trying to say. Words of shit different next time. You know what I'm saying? I get what you was trying to say. When you was when you was growing up, Soldier Boy wasn't your type of music, and you realized, I don't know what the I don't know what the fuck you was trying to say, nigga. What the fuck was you even trying to say, nigga? You was a bitch, nigga. You weren't even saying, you weren't trying to say shit. You even... J. Cole, you a cool nigga and all that, but man. J. Cole would whoop Soldier Boy up and down the street. That's just a fact. <laughs> Soldier Boy thinks he's so gangster. Uh, it's tiring. Right? He's like, I understand. And then seconds later, he's like, F you, J. Cole. It's like, whoa. Calm down over there, buddy. <laughs> and then we got NBA young boy responding to, uh, let's see. I guess he was caught in the, this guy was caught in the mall. I don't even know his name. Uh, what's his name? Little Rye. I don't know him. All right. But especially, I guess he says, NBA young boy says, you know, he got stripped down out your clothes like a girl. Don't entertain him no more. <laughs> a chain right here. I'm red. I didn't run to the police. I'm red. I run to the police. Y'all ran away. What the? Y'all ran out the mall first. Never ran out the mall five deep and I ran it with no police around us. What police? What screaming? I got my chain right here. People got to stop wearing these chains. It's like, it's like something someone can steal from you and prove they got you. You know, you got to stop going for these chains, bro. Anyways. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.